Hey guys, this is another like very, very, very uh, basement level tips on some neon belly. Uh, first, you gotta take neon belly. My favorite way is to cross the neck and the hip. I like to pop up just a tiny bit, just enough to slide my knee in, and then I'm here. When I come up, I wanna drive this knee down kind of like an explosive motion to like disorient my opponent here. Sorry, man. This is Jeremy Ryan, by the way. He's a good training partner of mine. So when I'm here, a couple things you have to remember is, a lot of times people kind of do this. This is basically glorified uh, side control. Real me on belly, I need to be putting like 85, 90% of my weight, and I should be able to bounce this other leg. Now, the farther my hips are forward, and my body is like a column from crown to coccyx, I'm gonna be putting the most amount of weight. As I start coming back, even though this is still light, the more I put my body back, he's still taking less and less targeted pressure. Another thing is, so if I'm across his hips, I'm putting the least amount of pressure, but I'm the most stable. I feel the most secure. As I go from three o'clock to noon, the more I move up, the more pressure I'm putting on his body. If I'm here, like just the tip of my knee on one side, I'm not stable at all. If he shrinks a little bit, he's gone. But I'm putting the heaviest pressure on the smallest amount of space. So typically, I'll come up here to, to get where I need to go, find where I wanna be, and then start moving up here. Now, when I'm in a, in a good angle here, like I like digging underneath the ribs, this is where I like to be personally. Another thing is, and this is, this is the most common mistake I see for people is, they jump on top and they're like a sprinter. They're like this. Well, first of all, if this leg is stretched and he shrimps, shrimp, how am I gonna chase him with nothing left to stretch? So, first of all, I always want this leg bent. Now, if he shrimps, I'm just gonna chase him. That's okay. He's gonna get tired long before I'm gonna get tired. So, this leg always has to be bent, and I never want my knee pointing at him like this. This feels stable, but it really limits everything and doesn't put that much pressure on him. Uh, the last thing is, when you see Neon Belly used most of the time, like in tournaments, you'll see people go, okay, I'm gonna pop up, I'm gonna get my points, now I'm gonna go back to side control. Man, that is such a waste. Neon Belly is such a strong position. It doesn't feel strong for the person on top until you really practice it, but once you've practiced it a lot, and I'm here, I know where he's going, and it's nowhere. I'm like in to on a tower with a sniper rifle, just waiting for him to do anything, or nothing. I mean, he's gonna get tired eventually. So, I hope these you found these tips helpful. Thank you.